right, there's a brand new craze sweeping the British political landscape. Right wing politicians apparently being assaulted by flying frothy dessert drinks. Mil milkshakes, get this, are being used as political weapons. Trace Gallagher is on the case, figuring this one out for us. Good evening, Trace. Good evening, Shannon. On the heels of two Australian politicians being attacked by eggs, including Prime Minister Scott Morrison, who was pelted last week, in Britain, the new weapon of choice appears to be a milkshake. Several far-right British politicians have been hit with milkshakes during campaign stops recently. In fact, last Friday, police asked a McDonald's in Scotland not to sell milkshakes close by an event pro-Brexit politician Nigel Farage was holding. But the UK Burger King took the news as a chance to capitalize, tweeting, quote, Dear people of Scotland, we're selling milkshakes all weekend. Have fun. Love BK. Just saying. But sure enough, yesterday Farage was hit with a milkshake in Newcastle. A 32 year old man was charged with assault and says he threw the banana and salted caramel Five Guys shake to protest the politicians, quote, bile and racism. The CBS Morning Show got a laugh at the milkshake attacks in the UK. Brexit party leader Nigel Farage was doused with a milkshake yesterday. That was actually salted caramel, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> I'm sure it feels great. I'm yeah. sure people love the yeah. feeling and but, the pictures fly around the world. But, but put some of that en energy into campaigning. Yeah. And maybe the people you don't want to be in office won't be in office. And maybe just drink the milkshake. Over on NBC's Late Show, Seth Meyers also took a crack at the milkshaking. Police in Scotland have ordered a McDonald's location to stop selling milkshakes after multiple videos showing people throwing milkshakes at far-right politicians went viral. Said McDonald's customers, that's insane. Their milkshake machine was actually working? But the global editor-in-chief of Human Events wasn't laughing, penning an op-ed saying today a milkshake, tomorrow a brick. Lashing out at those who choose to throw milkshakes at politicians, as well as the corporations who egg them on, so to speak. Quote, with the dovetailing of corporate social responsibility and social justice causes, i.e. getting woke, big global businesses are now moving into the territory of actively encouraging political violence towards conservatives. He's basically asking what happens when they start doing things back. Shannon. All right, Trace Gallagher, thank you very much.